So the sports car seems like it's a hot seller. We have 30 orders and all of our first production of two units were sold out immediately. The electric sedan the same way. Due to us going through the redesign for this next model year, we're not going to update our product line. We're going to run the 03s into the 04 area until after the redesign. So we're going to see if we're going to run this until 1906. So we're going to update our lineup. So we got our first union negotiation. So we've come to an agreement with the union. 2.75 instead of 2.96 So we're going to increase the price of the 3500 So we're going to get rid of all of our O3 models.
going to go up about nine months. So this is what our company is doing as of 1905, turning a profit now. And this is what all of the other companies are doing. You can see who's turning a profit and who's not. December 1906, and we have the highest torque thus far in our 1901 Emerson Model 101EC. 1906 Dodge Brothers have the highest red line. Highest top speed is the Ford Nassau. And we also have the heaviest vehicle, which is our Model M for 1906. These are all of the global awards, European awards, Asian awards, North America awards, Australia awards, South America and Africa, manufacturing news, the class challenge, We're going to add an additional line for upcoming model that's going to be in 1909. Lancia entered the market and Laganda entered the market. We still have nine units of the EC, the electric vehicle. We have a project profits of 156,000. The 03 is going to be selling out, but that's a whole year after it was taken off the market. The same for the Steam, but it just sold out. Our Model S is making almost double in profit. Our Model M electric vehicle which is our sedan, doesn't have a huge profit margin. That's the same for our steam. At the moment, we're not able to put any money into the pension fund. We're still a privately held company. These are all the companies that have gone public. We're unable to purchase any stocks right now due to our cash flow. We're going to update our vehicle portfolio.
And we have a redesign in 26 months, and we have an increase of one line. So we're going to introduce one other model. We're going to design a rear engine electric sports car. going to be the 1909 we're going to also do some updates on the 3500 We're going to head out four more months, three more months. So we sold out of the Model 1 for the 06 model year, and we sold out of the EC. So we're going to end production for all of the 06.
So we're turning a profit of almost $100,000 each month. Our construction is a little less than two years out. We're making pretty good profit on our parts and warranties. Our best selling vehicle is a 1907 3500. We have two more months on our coupe before we run out of supply. We're almost selling out of our Model S for the 06, but our Model M, which is our sedan, is not doing very well. We have a few sales, so we're gonna raise the price on the newer one is going to make it the most expensive car that we sell and it's the most expensive sedan in all of Gear City. So we're going to plan on bringing the sedan to a different market. We're currently selling it to the ultra wealthy but we want to look at what the top luxury sedan vehicles are at. and how our vehicle compares to them. So we wanna look at who has the most luxurious sedan in Gear City. Because if we're gonna charge more for our vehicle than anybody else, then we wanna make sure that we're offering the top level of luxury and performance. So Cord's 1904 has more luxury. We're about the same speed. We offer more cargo room. They offer a little bit better fuel economy. They're offering better handling, but we're not looking to have a sporty sedan. We're looking to have more luxurious. So we at least have to be over our 36. And dependability, we're gonna bring it up to 43 at least. Austin is at 37, so we're going to pull it up to 37 at least. And their dependability is at 48, so we're going to we have to at least be at 48. All right, so we have our our target market. 